I'm Alexa Bunting, the marketing coordinator here at Pragmatic Works, and I have with me today... Uh, Manuel Quintana, one of the uh, many trainers here at Pragmatic Works. Um, I guess I'll just leave my intro to that, because that's the whole reason yeah, for the Yeah, we've video. got some cool questions yeah. for you today. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do kind of a get-to-know-you video. Yeah. So, first off, I know you've been with the company for a little while now. Yeah. So, how many years have you been with Pragmatic Works? Yeah, absolutely. Um, pretty proud. I mean, the eight years is that official number. Uh, and, you know, it's just awesome company to work for. We'll probably get more into that, but uh, it's easier for Pragmatic Works, and probably that'll come out in this interview. Just I'm kind of proud because I think that puts me like, like top, like yeah. in the top five the of longest, people who've been yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you have a video actually, um, oh, kind yeah. of similar to this one on our <laughs> YouTube channel currently. Maybe this one, maybe this one will get more <laughs> views. I think I looked, and the other one had like 253 views. Or All right, something. so let's make this one go yeah. viral, right? <laughs> and there was far less gray in the beard. I think it was six years ago, um, and this was two offices ago so yeah there we go been around a while so that's how you know you've been here for a while but that's yeah. good all yeah. good so what's your favorite uh memory while working with pragmatic works sure uh gosh i mean like i said the culture here is fun if you've ever been just here for training you'll know that um and i've been part of some interesting stuff starting right at the top with brian oh. right <laughs> but i think one of the things i enjoy is because of the environment that we work with it mm -hmm. kind of fostered you know, some playfulness. Um, <laughs> and I don't know why, I always found some enjoyment uh, scaring people. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's plenty of people. S some previous employees might watch this, and you I won't give names, right? I'm not going to say names, but you know who I'm talking about. Where I've, <laughs> where I've actually scared some people in the office, and, like, they're not known for, you know, no profanity. You yep. know, they're very good. But I get them real good, so they, oh gosh, they can't they can't help. I gotta it. keep an eye out yeah. now. I gotta yeah. always pay attention to my surroundings. Any dark corner, it's a dangerous corner. <laughs> You're lurking, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what keeps you working here? I mean, kind of probably something along those lines of having fun, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that type of environment just allows you to kind of, you know, kind of eliminates in a natural way just stress that can happen in any job, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody here who's watching, you have a job, you have stresses. We're no different. We're we're regular people too, um, but when you work for people like Brian, Devin, uh, you know those. If you're unfamiliar, they're you know leading us here within training at Pragmatic Works, mm -hmm. um, and I have great great colleagues. Um, when you have this just super easy, open air atmosphere, truly an open door policy. Like everybody's door is literally open. You can talk to anybody anytime. Yep. I don't know. Um, it just makes every day to go to the office that much easier. Yeah, it absolutely. Really An environment, a good yeah. environment is just, you know, what makes it, really. Yeah, absolutely. So, I hear you have an interesting story, maybe, behind, you have a nickname, oh. or you have some social media handles that are a yeah. little, yeah. you know, you want to tell me the story behind those? Sure. <laughs> or I, tell I, us what they are? Well, I usually joke around whenever I have to do an intro. I didn't do it in the beginning here, but, like, my name is Manuel Alejandro Quintana Castillo. So, first off, that's a lot. Okay. So, two lines on the license. Um... <laughs> But more so, I guess, uh, it would be on my Twitter handle, the, okay. this little story there. Yeah. Um, this is a shout out, I guess, give credit where credit is due, Scott Gleason. Uh, I, was, I was at a Jacksonville SQL Server user group meeting. Okay. So Wednesday night, they had a, um, it's, it's like a presentation for new people in the industry. You just stand up, 10 minutes and talk. Kind of puts nice. you under the fire, right? <laughs> And afterwards, we were sitting around, and they're like, you know, you should get a social media account so you can post stuff, blog stuff, follow stuff. I was like, okay, cool. Um, this is probably dating me because they were talking about like, how when Twitter was like starting. Um, and Scott was there. I am uh, from a Puerto Rican background. I was born in Puerto Rico, learning SQL. So we just mashed it together. My name, SQL Rican. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a nice name. Yeah. There you go. All right. So, um, what do you do? What do you like to do in your free time outside yeah. of Pragmatic Works when you're not in the office? You got like yeah. a favorite hobby thing you like to do? All I do is work and work. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we do put in our time here, of course, because we want to be the best at what we do. But in those moments where I can, you know, sneak away and just enjoy some of my own personal time, I do fall in. You actually might find this in other interviews for other in, uh, of our employees, but. Um, we have a little bit of a gathering of people who like board games. Oh, very so nice. I guess that might not be too surprising. I mean, business <laughs> intelligence, you can almost wrap that into a world of nerdiness, and then you add board games, and I mean, I think at lunch today we were talking about D&D, <laughs> &D. so uh, I definitely have a strong nerdiness aspect to what I do, 
but also I I mean I love sports I love watching and following soccer tennis basketball football you name it uh, I enjoy all these things so and did you used to play yeah. soccer I did I actually okay. um, I played soccer for quite a bit I ended up actually winning a state championship oh, through wow. there tennis there I played all through high school and younger um, and then of course on my more sophisticated side <laughs> of things uh, I did play piano for a little while. Oh wow! Very my, nice. My kind of two oh, opposite yeah. things, but yeah, it, it's cool. Keep you keep too well rounded. For absolutely, sure. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we have um, some last minute questions okay. here. We've got kind of a little bit of lightning round. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions. I just want you to give me the first answer that comes to your mind. Okay. Yeah, all, right. all right. Here we go. If you could turn into any animal right now, what would it be? Koala bear. Why is that? Uh. I mean, I've heard that they're mean and nasty, yeah. not for that reason. <laughs> they're but, super cuddly, but exactly, they're also yeah. vicious. <laughs> so, but, you know, I've, I've not met a koala, but I've heard these stories, but I'm going more from the presentation. They yeah. just kind of seem fluffy, nice, relaxed. They hang out in the they trees chill. all day. They just eat a bunch of, like, yeah. leaves. I mean, yeah. The leaves thing, give me a little more of a burger in there. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, they just seem, I think it's a fun and cuddly piece of it. They seem relaxed. Yeah, they seem yeah. chill. They've got a good life going on. I think I could find many animals I could relate to, but that's the one that popped in the head at that time. Yep, okay. All right, ice cream flavor. If you could pick any ice cream flavor to yeah. turn into right now, what would it be? Mm, very, very mundane uh, vanilla. Uh, any, any, I mean, uh, vanilla can be exciting. Yeah, I mean, right? you could put some toppings on there. Yeah, it, it receives toppings very well, right? Uh, you could do a cookies and cream. You could do a cookie dough. Uh, yeah. But generally, any vanilla base. Yeah. But I'm... Vanilla bean, standard, I'm That's satisfied. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you there. Yeah, yeah. All right, favorite superhero? Um, this one I usually give a consistent answer to. I really like Blade. Uh, <laughs> okay. There's a lot of superheroes out there. They're all fun. I, I like the supernatural world of things. Okay. So the MCU, where when I'm recording this now, <laughs> they're getting into this fun stuff. Uh -huh. So I like that other world, like the Doctor Strange stuff. Okay. The Blade gets into the supernatural. That's coming soon. Ooh, There's no official, okay. but... Uh, Have you know. seen the new Doctor Strange movie? I did. It's fantastic. It's crazy. Right. It's weird. I haven't seen it, so yeah. we won't do any yeah, spoilers, yeah. right? Okay. So I'd have to say the button and the shout out. I mean, Wesley Snipes, original Blade, loved it. So okay, okay. My superhero. All right, so... Last thing, two truths and a lie. Come up with uh, three things, mm. two of them being true and one being a lie, and I'll guess. And you guys can guess too. All right. So the trick is about the delivery here. Yes. <laughs> Easy. Don't make it obvious. Yeah. I'll try to keep all three in the same atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, He's having to think of these on the and spot. Then I'm, and, then I'm, and I'm ordering them in my mind right now. All right. First, we're going to say here, uh, when I was younger, I'll do it in age. Okay. When I was young, I went ahead and I was able to meet Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. And actually, like, meet him and, and I got to touch his shoe. Okay. Uh, we can say when I was older, mm -hmm. I had the opportunity. I was mentioned I played tennis before. I was mm -hmm. playing tennis. And I was playing next to Matthew Perry and Jennifer Capriati. Okay. And I ended up getting a pretty awesome photo with Matthew Perry. And the last one even older, so okay. next age gap, okay. uh, just going on hikes with my parents who love to do it, uh, the the most classic person you could find on a hike, Bear Grylls. So Ooh. he was just there on the trail. Mm. Lots of celebrity references here. I decided to so, keep it all, yeah. So any of these, yeah. so two of these are true. Yeah, so that true. means you've met some celebs in your life. Right place, right time. Uh, I'm going to say the hiking one, the Bear Grylls. Yeah, so not, I, not true, right? It's Partially true, but you're right. I didn't meet Wait. Bear Grylls. My parents do love hiking. I've gone hiking with them, but Bear was not on the trail. Oh, okay. So that is a okay. lie. But wait, so that means you met Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. And it was in that kind of time frame that I described. When I was younger, my dad and I loved to go to Orlando Magic Games, and we would go, doesn't matter if it was a school night, we would go. It was awesome, and we got lucky because we went to so many games. We met somebody who was courtside seats. Oh, no way. A nice older lady, and she was apparently their, the, the team's like good luck charm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so I'm there talking to her. And <laughs> she presents you to him? Shaq comes over. <laughs> Uh, Mon I mean, I was 10-ish, okay. so he was... So this was just, like, blowing yeah. your mind. I mean, he'd already, even right now, probably seem enormous to me, but back then, it was just oh, like yeah. a mountain, and then he popped his shoe up there at the time. He was wearing oh, the uh, black and white striped, like, zebra-type shoes. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and yeah, I got put my hand on it. It's awesome. Wow. And then the other one, yeah. It's, and the tennis players, too. I love going to, there's a, they always do a little tournament down in Miami. I went to visit, and the hotel we were at happened to have a bunch of players. And sure enough, we were playing, and 
oddly enough, if you didn't know this, Matthew Perry like is good at tennis. Like, he's <laughs> like he was like ranked in the nation. Wow. He was dating the number one world uh, women's uh, person at the time, Jennifer Capriati. And so I, we we're playing, you know. Wow. Asked for a picture, and I got a nice so little photo is, with him. So cool. You're going to have to show us sometime. It's a good one. It's a good one. That's really so. cool. So look at you yeah. meeting all these celebs. That's yeah. so neat. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, well, thank you so much for mm -hmm. answering all my sure. questions today. And thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.